At the Earth's Core is a 1976 British-American fantasy science fiction film produced by Britain's Amicus Productions. The film was directed by Kevin Connor and starred Doug McClure, Peter Cushing and Caroline Munro. It was filmed in Technicolor, and based on the fantasy novel At the Earth's Core, by Edgar Rice Burroughs, the first book of his Pellucidar series, in token of which the film is also known as Edgar Rice Burroughs at the Earth's Core. The original music score was composed by Mike Vickers. Topic: Plot. Dr. Abner Perry, Peter Cushing, a British Victorian scientist, and his US financier David Innes, Doug McClure, make a test run of their iron mole drilling machine in a Welsh mountain, but end up in a strange underground labyrinth ruled by a species of giant telepathic flying reptiles, the Mahars, and full of prehistoric monsters and cavemen. They are captured by the Mahars, who keep primitive humans as their slaves through mind control. David falls for the beautiful slave girl Princess Dia Caroline Munro, but when she is chosen as a sacrificial victim in the Maha city, David and Perry must rally the surviving human slaves to rebel and not only save her but also win their freedom. Topic: <laughs> Cast Topic Production The film was made following the success of The Land That Time Forgot. Kevin Connor later recalled, We tried to get the beasts bigger so as to interact better with the actors, more one on one. We had a somewhat bigger budget thanks to the success of Land. The beasts were specially designed so that small stunt guys could work inside the suits in a crouched position and on all fours. Needless to say it was very cramped and the stunt guys had to take frequent breathers. Some worked better than others, but we were experimenting and trying something different. Reception The movie was popular, becoming the 18th most profitable British film of 1976. Amongst contemporary critics, however, The New York Times wasn't impressed. All the money used to make at the Earth's core seems to have been spent on building monsters with parrot like beaks that open, close, and emit a steady squalling as if someone were vacuuming next door. Close up, the monsters look like sections of rough concrete wall, and the decision to film them in close up is only one example of the total lack of talent or effort with which the picture is made. The movie is a kind of no talent competition in which the acting, the script, the direction, and the camera work vie for last place. While more recently, in more positive vein, the BFI Screen Online found it extravagant, colorful and thoroughly preposterous, at the Earth's core is utterly without pretension but has the exuberant charm of the best of its decade." The film was featured in the season finale of the revived Mystery Science Theater 3000, the show's 11th season overall, released on April 14, 2017 through Netflix. See also. The People That Time Forgot Disambiguation Journey to the Center of the Earth 1959 film Journey to the Center of the Earth 2008 Asylum film a direct to DVD American film sharing similarities with this film